Hey everyone, this is a video response to Lolo Sama's uh, Elfin Lead review. This is Soldier Side, and me being a huge uh, Elfin Lead uh, fan, there was some things I didn't think she got quite right. But first, I want to say the nudity in it was a bit much, and I can see how the violence level can turn some people off, but it's not like Elfin Lead is known for being a tame anime. I mean, <laughs> deals with a lot of bad stuff, and you got it. Really questions whether uh, who the real uh, monsters are: the humans or the or uh, the mutants. Now, as for the reason why she murdered uh, Kanai and you know murdered uh, Kota's father, father, sorry. Anyway, the reason why she did it is because in a previous scene, a person pretended to be friends with her just in order to find out she had a dog and for the bullies to beat up the dog. And, and that's when she first ha used her power. She, previously, she knew she something was happening inside of her, but she didn't know what. And, and you know, it just all at once, she got these powers and killed everyone. She couldn't control it. Also, at the time uh, when uh, uh, Lucy told uh, Kota to kill her, there wasn't New. New wasn't there because when the personality split happened was when was when she got shot in the head and ricocheted off her head. Previously, she you know had these both of these personalities coexisting, but then then they split. So anyway, also the reason why she kills all these people is because these people are going after her. I mean, people shooting at her in the first scene, you see people shooting at her. Of course, she's in captivity, but here's in here's the story of how she got into captivity. And it's and it's pretty sad, but here it is. In episode 10.5, this is an extra episode they made, you know, it's a special episode. It's an add-on in the DVDs. I don't have them, but I plan on getting them and plan on getting the manga too. But anyway, here's what here's what happens. She uh, she made a friend, a uh, girl, a uh, friend who is a girl, and they became really friends, real good friends. And she even showed her that she had these powers, and she j described it as magic. She just said it's magic, and she didn't do she didn't go crazy. She didn't kill anyone at that time. Nothing went wrong until these people. These army men went after her and shot at her and shot at her friend. She did, and she basically used her powers just to protect her. And and then someone shot at a, was hiding and shot at, uh, shot at her friend and almost killed her. In fact, she would die a couple seconds later. Then, uh, then and that's when uh, Karama made a deal with her. If she gave herself up, she would save the girl, give her medical attention, save the girl. And she said, Lucy said, okay, I'll do that. Anyway, it goes off to a scene later, and Karama says, uh, I'm sorry, we did everything we could. She's dead. And she, and she replied, I'm not going to kill you, but I'm going to kill everyone around you. At this time, at this point, she was in tears. She was just, uh, out of the holes in her helmet, she was, just, you could see a river of tears, li literally. I mean, she was, she was really, really, and I mean, she's in captivity now, so she can't do anything. She gave herself up for nothing. For nothing. Well, anyway, and as for... You also mentioned uh, why why a lot of the women don't wear clothes in the research facility. Well, that's because that's... they, they don't, These people don't think they're human. They, they, they look down on them and say these, these are demons, basically. And basically a way of demeaning them. I mean, it's kind of like... I mean, if I... If you, if you wanted to be demeaned, they'd strip you of your clothes and shot at you. It's it's a way of, I mean, it's way of making you think you're below them. The graphic nature of these scenes, well, that's because you know these are horrible people, and th these things actually do happen. I mean, not 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 a lot, but you know, the ho this happened a lot of times in the Holocaust, and it's really sad, but it happens. It does happen. God forbid, but it does happen. So the uh, comedy bits, I didn't, you know, I can see why you'd think they wouldn't be needed, but basically they did the comedy parts and the other parts without the gore just to, you know, 
just because the gory parts are so gory, you know, if it was all gore, I'd hate it. I'd be right up there, but, you know, they have parts where it's serious and makes you think. Um, it's kind of like, oh, <laughs> kind of like uh, Frankenstein, you know, uh, who's the real monster type story. And kind of like uh, Lucy, you know, when she was younger, reminds me of the Stephen King book, Carrie, uh, basically about a girl... A obese girl who uh, find, he has psychic powers and everyone makes fun of her and tells she you know just kills er locks the school down kills everyone periodically and it really tells you how you know, effect of bullying on people. Also, you didn't like the scene where uh, he forgave her. I can understand that. I I really can. And personally, I wouldn't either. But here's the reason why I think he forgave her. Actually, actually, she he didn't really forgave her. He basically said. You know, I can never really forgive you, but I, I loved the, the child who you once were, and you know, I loved you. You said she, he should have lost his mind. Well, he, he should have. He did. He, and in fact, a dialogue. Uh, there's a dialogue later where it's, uh, her cousin basically says she knew how, how not exactly how they died. The reason why. He forgot because such traumatic thing, such a traumatic thing happened to her. He she just blocked it out. He just blocked it out and told himself it was an accident. It was a car accident. It was a car accident. You know, and just he went insane. He went insane and he had to go for to a hospital for a year because of it. In fact, there's a scene where you see that his his name is on a file that says whoever how who has come in contact with. A Diclonius, and who knows? Maybe they erased his memory. You know, I haven't read the manga. Maybe they did. I, I, I'd love to read the manga, but uh, where I live, there's just nowhere to buy anime except for Hastings, but they don't have a whole lot. And the manga, forget about it. If it's if it's not there, you know, you have to special order it, and I don't feel like special ordering it. And quite frankly, I don't have the money. I, I really don't. Now, just one point about the relationship between uh, Kota and his cousin. In Japan, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not, it's not looked down upon. It's not considered, um, what's the term? I can't think of it right now. What is it? Ah, oh, yes, uh, taboo. It's not considered taboo in Japan. It's perfectly normal. Well, not normal, but it does happen, and it's not not something that's looked down upon. I believe in somewhere in the video he had the text saying she only kills people because she likes to. Well, that's not necessarily true because uh, she doesn't kill them because she likes to. It's because they've done so many bad things to her. In fact, the only the only uh, one that truly loves to kill kill uh, humans is Marco. Um, yeah, Marco. Anyway, she's the only one who loves to kill humans because, you know, she was there. She was, you know, in captivity since she was born. Since she was, you know, out of the womb, she was there, you know, in prison. And she, the sad thing is she doesn't even know how to walk. She doesn't know how to walk because she's never been step outside until they free her to get, get rid of Lucy. And when they free her, oh boy, I, they really shouldn't have done that because she made made people explode everywhere. However, this is kind of sadistic, but they put bombs. They put bombs inside of her body and blew one of her arms off by hitting a button. And they said, basically, if you don't do what we say, you're dead. You're dead. And she's like five. That's sad. Anyway, there's there's my rant, and I hope you enjoyed. Everybody, hope enjoyed watching it, and I hope. I hope, uh, hope, uh, Loisama, I hope you enjoyed hearing what I had to say, and I, I enjoy your views, and keep on doing it, and hey, you never know, I might comment on something else again, hope you enjoyed it, I hope you, you I didn't get offended or anything, I just, you know, I am a Elfin Lead fan, and I just want to say, you know, what I think, anyway, uh, but goodbye everyone, till next time.